vehicles and then yeah, yeah, restart, restart, restart. Today we are back with some more Beam Energy Drive and I wanted to start a new sort of series that includes all of the base game vehicles or base vehicles in the game and just testing them out and giving them a rating out of 10. So let's get right in. I do want to say that these videos do take a lot of time and work, so it would be really great if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Now, the first vehicle that I'm testing out, it's just going to be one video for each. It is the base vehicle in the base game, uh, the D series, which is the pickup truck, and we're going to be doing a speed test. So, going about 92, 1 miles an hour when we're going uphill. Does it say how fast we're going? How many kilometers? 160 kilometers an hour. So the speed test is pretty good. Now we're going 100. And that is like 170. So we'll say 100 miles an hour or... 70 kilometers an hour. So that is a speed test. Now we're going to move on to the off-road test. Alright, we are in Johnson Valley for the off-road test, and I'm just going to quickly put it into all-wheel drive. I do just want to say that I will not be using all of the configurations of every vehicle, because, for example, the D-Series has, I don't know, at least 70 different types. So we are just going to be using the base and getting right into it. So we are in Johnson Valley for the off-road test. I'm just going to be taking it on some trails, seeing how well it handles. I have it in four-wheel drive right now. Okay, the top got crushed a bit. <clears throat> Probably wouldn't drive like this in real in the real world. That was cool, and it landed it. Probably wouldn't drive like this in the real world. So it's just kind of your wreck if you're playing around in BMG Drive. Okay, I can't stop flipping this thing. The actually actually the the right door is completely fine. Door window. And door actually. The front right tire is not doing good. It's out of alignment. But just keep going for a little bit longer. Alright, I've been driving for a little bit longer. The trails are a little bit smoother out here. But not much damage has been done to it except for like the body and that front right tire. And the engine has not taken any damage whatsoever. So this is a pretty good off-road truck. Alright, now let's move on to the last one, which is the durability. I am now on the grid map version 2, and I just want to explain what the durability test is. So, I'm pretty much just going to be driving it to walls at different speeds and doing jumps and see how it handles. And that is it. Oh wow, that was ice. I want to go drift on that. This is fun. would help. Sorry, I'm getting distracted, but... Okay, that's sick. Oh, and mud. Okay. And as well in mud. What about from... Stopping. Yeah, this is really well. And then, is that sand? But well, we are just driving on sand. Yeah, super easy. Grass. We know it'll do well grass and then the rocks mm, it's the tires that I'm worried about but I mean okay this is doing really well 
Oh, uh, rear drive shaft for that. So, do we only have the front tires that are spinning? No, they're not gonna only have the front tires, the back tires. I don't think they're spinning anymore. But, other than that, it is completely fine. And then we just have water. I mean, any vehicle floods if it doesn't have a snorkel. But. Oh yeah, there it goes. I mean, I guess I'll just drive it into the walls. Alright, this is the blunt force test. So I'm just going to be driving it at different speeds into the wall. And seeing what happens so i'm going to start off with 20 miles an hour yeah you would have definitely survived that that was pretty good so now we're going to double that and go to 40. okay pretty good pretty good the engine and the engine took some damage and the radiator has been punctured and the engine oil is low and the front bumper is completely destroyed so now we're gonna go see if we can get to 50 no we aren't gonna get okay now 50 and the drive shaft has broken at 50 miles an hour well the front wheels still work but the back wheels do not spin anymore and the it's actually holds bent I have set up a scenario with three cars over there and I'm going to do a essentially a crash test with other cars so when I tell the AI to go they will drive into me and see how much damage is done. So just go AI and chase me but I'm not going to be moving so they're just going to drive into me and go slow mo. That's all. I mean, they probably hit me at what 30, 25 miles an hour, something like that. And I mean, it's kind of hard for me to move because they're driving into me. But I mean, it's completely fine except for the door. I have been playing around with it a little bit more, it's been gotten quite a bit more bashed up, but overall I give this a 7.2 out of 10.